Fox Sports. We are Baltimore. We are LA. Tonight, Albert Pujols faces his old friends for the first time since he was their World Series hero. His focus, however, is now on the Angels and their winning streak as they go for seven in a row. Cardinals and Angels next. Returned home after an off day yesterday. Today they begin a very important six-game homestand. The St. Louis Cardinals, for the first time ever, visit the Big A for game number one of a three-game set. Hi, everybody from inside the Big A and alongside my partner, Mark Gubas, on Victor Rojas. So glad you could join us for Angels baseball once again here on Fox Sports West. The Angels just concluded a very, very good road trip, but that's not what we're going to talk about right now. We're going to focus in on Albert Pools, of course, with the St. Louis Cardinals in town and a lot of hype surrounding Albert and the Cards. I think it's a lot of fun for both Angel fans, the Angels, and, of course, Albert Pujols to go against his former mates, in which he put up tremendous numbers throughout his entire career. Everyone still remembers Game 3 of the World Series against the Rangers when he hit not one, not two, but three home runs in that game three and helping the Cardinals beat the Rangers in a magical World Series. Three-time MVP in the National League. Batting average nearly 330. 455 home runs for Pools as a member of the Cardinals. Now he's going to try to beat them here tonight. Well, you mentioned the uh, six-game road trip that the Angels just concluded. 6-0, and first time the Halos have had that kind of a road trip since 2002, but everything seemed to be clicking for Victor, them. I like everything they did during this road trip. They ran the bases well. They fielded the baseball well. They pitched very well, too. And, of course, the batting average was consistent to about nearly 300, 291. They scored runs. They maintained leads. But I love how aggressive they were with the glove with their feet, and of course, getting themselves into great hitters' counts. And that's why they produced such good amount of runs, and they, be, they played Angel Mike Socha-type baseball that entire road trip. Hopefully that continues here against the Cardinals, and then, of course, the Red Sox after that. The Angels did make a move today, placing Peter Borges on the 15-day disabled list. Outfielder Colin Calgill recall from AAA as Jared Weaver will tow the slab for the Angels. Lance Lynn is going for the St. Louis Cardinals. Albert gets a chance to face his former mates. We are just about ready for baseball here at the Big A. Sit back and relax. We're going to bring you the lineups and the first pitch when we return.
uh, it's something that this is the three days that I won't be able to root for them, you know, because uh, uh, anytime that I have an opportunity, I watch them, I, I root for them because, I mean, uh, they're like, you know, some of them are my good friends, and I think it's going to be a, a fun three-game series here. Albert Pujols talking before the game, addressing the media, not only the uh, Southern California media, but those coming from St. Louis as well, and there was a throng of them as well. As a lot of cameras in attendance. You see Jared Weaver and the Angels have already taken the field, and we will take a look at Mike Matheny's starting nine for the St. Louis Cardinals. Second place at the start of the day in the National League Central Division, two games back, where they 49 and 32 record. They will have Matt Carpenter leading things off at second base. Yadier Molina jumps up to the two spot. They had a lineup change as Matt Holiday was scratched due to a stiff neck. So Yadier will bat second. Carlos Beltran is in right field. Alan Craig in left field. Matt Adams at first base. David Fries. The designated hitter, John Jay in center. Daniel Descalso will be the third baseman, and Pete Cosma will be the shortstop at the bat tonight. Facing Jared Weaver, who comes in with a 1 and 4 mark, a 415 ERA, but had a, a very good outing against the Detroit Tigers on yeah, that road he trip. He mixed the match very well. His fastball velocity, not necessarily overpowering, but he spotted it well. His changeup curveball, very good. Interleague play, 13 and 4 for Jared Weaver. Throws the ball very well against the National League. Ninth start of the year for Jared. And uh, see if he can continue what he started against the Tigers, in which he went seven innings, gave up one run, four hits in seven innings of work, six strikeouts, and two walks against a very good offensive unit. And this St. Louis Cardinals team is a very good offensive unit. The first one tonight is just outside for ball one. Matt Carpenter, the second baseman, hitting 322 in the National League this year. Seven home runs, 32 runs batted in. At 322 batting average, good for fifth overall in the National League. Oh, it's a little bit high. And it's two balls and no strikes. And yeah, Carpenter with some extra base capabilities leading off for this club as 37 extra base hits this season. 2 0, that is in there. 2 and 1. It's a team that doesn't run a whole lot. 15th in the National League in stolen bases, but. You look up and down their lineup, a lot of guys with RBIs, the power potential there, the extra base potential as well. Payaspo playing in over at third base. 2-1 in their first shot, 2-2. Two two. Cardinals first in the National League at batting average. Eighth in runs scored. First in on base percentage. Second in slugging. And they've pitched well, too. Extremely well. 2-2. Two, two. This one grounded to the right side. Trumbo to the backhand has it. Feeds Weaver. And there is out number one. Let's check out the Angels defensively tonight. J.B. Shuck is in left field. Mike Trout is in center. Josh Hamilton in right. The infield consists of Alberto Cayasco, Eric Ivar, Howie Kendrick, and Mark Trumbo from third to first. And Chris Inet is behind the plate. And Jerry Weaver, generally a fly ball type pitcher. Mike Trout might have one of those magical games in center field. It was funny when he came out and he saw all the media talk in the polls. He goes, this feels like a playoff game. So that energy level even higher from Mike Trout in center field here tonight. Yeah, vote totals being announced today as far as the, the updating of the vote totals and now leads all American League outfielders with 4.82 plus million votes as Molina swings to the first pitch. And that's something the Cardinals have been accustomed to. Trumbo can't handle the throw. Molina broke towards second, so there's a play, but Trumbo does not flip it to Ionetta. A routine play should have been the second out. And Kayaspa lazily threw that ball to first base, and Trumbo unable to get it. So Kayaspa with his 10th there of the year. Well, that's one thing you don't want to do is give extra outs to this Cardinal lineup. They can swing the bat so well, even with two outs, especially with runners in scoring position. It's a low throw. And Trumbo unable to dig it out. But if they think quickly on that play, they have a chance to get Molina as he made that turn, that commitment yep. towards second. Sure did. And he knew it. He hustled back to the bag. So a man on on the air. Here's Carlos Beltran. Beltran originally slated to be the designated hitter tonight, but now getting to start in right field. 308 average, 19 home runs and 50 runs batted in. Now 36 years of age. One ball, one strike. Beltran in his first year last year with St. Louis, 32 home runs, 97 runs batted in, hit 269 for the Cards. 
With Beltran, two for three in his career versus Weaver, two home runs. Missed in. Two balls and one strike. Just underway here. Carpenter with a ground out. Molina reaching on the air by Cayaspa. Weaver will check in on him. St. Louis doesn't do a whole lot of running. It's 19 stolen bases. Been caught 10 times. In the air. Shallow right field. Now with Kendrick drifting out, Eric Ibar as well. Josh Hamilton takes charge and makes the catch for round number two. That ball was up there a long time. And good communication right away by Josh Hamilton calling that ball right away. It's a difficult task going back on the ball for Kendrick and even Ibar. Much easier play for Hamilton coming in, who's been playing a solid, solid right field. So two outs, Molina still in first, and here's Alan Craig. Craig hitting 318 this year with nine home runs, 63 runs batted in. 63 RBIs. Second in the National League. Paul Goldschmidt, the Arizona Diamondbacks, leads that category, the first baseman. Right. Look at his drive. We well, always wonder with Craig, the way he holds his hands, like a lot of movement, how he'd be able to handle a good fastball inside. But he is super quick on that ball in the inner half. Holds his hands down, a lot of movement. Just missed off the plate to even the count. Craig, a product of Chaparral High School in Temecula, went to Cal. Eighth round pick in 2006 as he lifts this one out to right field. Playable for Hamilton. Josh is under it. Makes the catch. The inning comes to an end. We will head to the bottom of the first. Chuck Trout at Pujols. That's right. Albert Pujols facing his former mates with no score when we return. Look at Mike Sosha's starting nine as Weaver had to face four batters because of that error by Alberto Cayaspa. The Halos on a six game winning streak right now, still third place in the West, nine games back at the start of the day. 39 and 43 is their record. JB Shuck is down in left field. Mike Trout at center. Pujols at DH tonight. Josh Hamilton in right. Howie Kendrick at second. Mark Trumbo drops down in the order. He's at first base. Alberto Cayaspa at third. Chris Ionet is doing the catching. And it's Eric Ibar batting ninth and playing shortstop. Taking on Lance Land, who comes into this one with a 10 and 2 mark and a 3.52 ERA. Lance Land, fastball 90 to 95. Throws about 76% of his pitches are fastballs. 
Slider, curveball, changeup. Likes to keep the fastball down around knee level. A lot of ground balls. Has only allowed five home runs in nearly 100 innings pitched this season. J.B. Shuck ready to lead things off against Lid. J.B. hitting 288, 10 doubles, one triple, 19 runs batted in as he looks at his strike. Mentioned the uh, start of the show that Peter Borg has placed on the 15-day disabled list. J.B.'s done a nice job filling in for him, did so. When Peter was on the DL with that hamstring injury. This one's lined towards center field, and that's a base hit. Leadoff man is on board. Check out the Cardinals defensively behind her tonight. It's Craig, Jay, and Beltron in the outfield from left to right. Descalso, Cosma, Carpenter, and Adams from third to first. Molina behind the plate. Well, it's a very good defensive club. Leading the National League in the best at the catching position. Yadier Molina, five-time gold glove winner, has thrown out over 40% of would-be base there. Very difficult to steal against him. More of a hit-and-run situation if you're going to be successful moving base to base against this Cardinal club. Quick throw to first and Shock is back in there. Trout hitting 315. 13 home runs, 52 runs batted in. Ten for 23 on the road trip through Detroit and Houston. Three doubles, a home run and six RBIs. That one is down and away. One ball, no strikes. Lynn with 99 and two-third innings under his belt this year. 78 hits, 98 strikeouts, 38 walks. 18-game winner a year ago. Evens up the count at one and one. Well, you can see that fastball pretty consistent. 92, 93, and occasionally 95, but generally rated right the knees both sides of the plate. Pretty good the last couple of seasons. 28 wins. Max Scherzer and Lance Lynn. Very consistent for two straight years. Lynn just 26 years of age. That's a roller off the foot of Trout. So it appears anyways. The last, last to call it a foul ball was the home plate umpire, Todd Titchener. As Trout started hobbling up that first baseline. Mike had the day off on Sunday. He'd been uh, dealing a little soreness in his hamstring. Look, he got him right on the top of the foot. Just above the foot in the low part of the shin area. Well, you can imagine Lynn's going to throw another two-seam fastball in that part of the plate again. The off day he had on Sunday, the first of the year. He played in every game up until Sunday. And yeah, Mike Sosha was able to rest Howie Kendrick, Mark Trumbo, and Mike Trout on that successful road trip. All three had played in every single game during the season so far. Now the 1-2. Missed outside. Two balls and two strikes. Lynn now 26 years of age. Product of the University of Mississippi. Supplemental first round pick in 2008. A lot of homegrown kids on this team for the St. Louis Cardinals. Off the plate. It's a pretty good indication how good Molina is behind the plate. That, ba that pitch was about a baseball or two off the corner, but he's so quick bringing it back and framing the pitch to give the home plate umpire a better view. Extremely quiet, soft hands behind the plate. J.B. Shock over at first, reached on the single. See if he's on the move here, perhaps with Trout at the plate. Pujols on deck. J.B. goes at 3 2, is looped down towards center. Jay is there, he'll make the grab. Shock has to hustle back to first base, and he was back there safely. So there's the first out here in the bottom of the first, and here comes Albert Pujols. Albert Pujols. Now 
Albert had a tough road trip. Four for 26 through Detroit and Houston. 249 batting average, 13 home runs at 49 RBIs on the year. Pretty much answered all the questions that was asked of him before the game as Shuck is back in safely at first. And a nice smile that whole time, too, because there were some questions were presented to pools. There were difficult ones. Foul back. Oh, one count. Pretty good swing at that first pitch fastball from Lynn. Well, everyone knows that uh, St. Louis, you having played uh, four hours down the road in Kansas City, is uh, an incredible baseball town. They, uh, they love the Redbirds. And uh, Albert Pools was one of their icons and more than likely will always be one of their icons so certainly a, a sour taste left when he departed as a free agent prior to last year in st louis you know the, we're determined at that point to be able to spend money differently they've been drafted so well as far as good power arms we're going to see one again tomorrow night also in shelby miller what a good job with their farm system very difficult to keep a player like pull holes around at that point of his career. Two balls and one strike. There's no question they still still love him in St. Louis. What he did brought him two world championships. Three time MVP. Certainly wasn't from a, a lack of effort. That's for sure. The Cardinals put their best foot forward at least they believe that as Albert fouls this one back evens up the count of two balls and two strikes and um, you know at the end of the day the player and management always makes a, a decision of what's the best interest of the individual or the uh, of the team in this case and when you're the Angels you get an opportunity to sign the premier player in all of baseball you have to leap at that opportunity and that's what the Angels did Quick throw to first. No score, bottom of the first. Chuck over at first base. Pujols with a two ball, two strike count. Lynn has only allowed one stolen base, three attempts. He does have one pickoff, two career pickoffs for Lynn. Very quick move to first base. It's off the plate, full count. Well, Lynn keeps trying to get that outside corner going, but Todd Titchener is not going to, at least here in the early going, has not expanded the strike zone. And some counts have been worked very well. We saw that on the road trip, seeing some pitches, not swinging at pitcher's pitches. That's why it was a successful road trip. Chuck takes off, 3 2. It's a swing and a miss, a throw down to second. And Chuck is out at second. They strike him out, throw him out, double play. And the first is in the books. One complete here at the Big A, and we are scoreless.
Back at base, because it looked like J.B. Sheck going to do a little swim move action. Yeah, from this angle, we both thought that he got his hand in there. Clearly by that camera angle, he got his hand in there, touched the base before the tag was applied. Good slide by J.B. Shuck, but still called out Molina. Another throw out at second base. One of the best arms you'll ever see. Most complete catcher in the game. Matt Adams the batter. He takes outside. It'll be Adams, Freeze, and Jay here in the second against Jared Weaver. Face four batters in the first. Adams, the first baseman, hitting 316. Six home runs, 20 runs batted in as he pulls this one over to Trumbo on the line. And there is out number one. Let's take a look at the standings in the American League West brought to you by Kia. Mentioned the Angels at the start of the day. Nine games back. Texas taking on Seattle. Oakland a half game back. Seattle 13, then Houston. Seattle, by the way, leading Texas currently 9-1. to one. That game in the seventh inning. Oakland hosting the Cubs. That pitch is upstairs. The Angels will see the Cubs next week. Two-game series at Wrigley Field Tuesday and Wednesday night. It's always fun to be able to go to Wrigley Field. It's always fun walking up those ramps oh, to that yeah. uh, little closet of a booth. Yeah, it's so much room in there. Oh. Two night games, too. Last time we were there was what, all three All day three games, day right? games, yes. Yeah, that great storm that one night, right after the game ended. 2-0 to Freeze. He's lifted foul and out of play on the right side. Two balls and a strike. Freeze slated to play third base tonight, but serving as a DH with Holiday being scratched. 277 on a year. Has 10 doubles, one triple, five home runs, and 27 runs batted in. Tap foul. And it's 2-2 two two now. Boy, did he have a postseason back in 2011. Team a hero. And one of the best World Series I've seen in a long time. LCS and World Series MVP. And even though he grew up in the card system, he was originally a Padre. Break your pitches down low. Full count now. He uh, went to St. Louis in the Jim Edmonds deal prior to the 08 season. Three two on the way. This one's out to center field. And that's going to fall in for a hit. So a one out knock for David Freeze puts a man on for the Cardinals and John Jay the center fielder stepping up. Second look at our AT&T Twitter poll question of the series. Which was your favorite World Series game six home run. Joe Carter's in 93 Scott Spezio's here in 2002. David Freeze in 2011 send us a tweet at, at Fox Sports West will give you a running total of the uh, the votes a little bit later on in the game when they were all so so important Joe Carter ended the World Series Spezio allowed the Angels to come back in an improbable comeback against the Giants in game six eventually winning game seven it's good to see Scott Spezio uh, last year when the uh, 10 anniversary of that uh, World Championship season coming out of the seats, seats in right field exactly that was right where he hit that home run he was gassed when he got to the <laughs> to his chair <laughs> Near the pitching mound, though. Jay the flip flops the... didn't help him out yet again. <laughs> One ball, no strikes on John Jay. 244 this year, four home runs, 33 RBIs. The second round pick at the University of Miami. Rolled over to first. Trumbull fires to second. They get the force out. Relay back to first. In time, a double play. Great job by Trumbo. 3 6 3 goes the twin. Killing will head to the bottom of the second scoreless.
Look at our Hyundai key to the game for today. Going with the Sultans of Swing, little dire straits. Middle part of the lineup, Pujols against his former mates. And Josh Hamilton, the way he was swinging the bat on the road. The patience, the looking for pitches away and driving the ball to left center field. Josh Hamilton leading things off, followed by Howie Kendrick and Mark Trumbo is the first one is outside. Hamilton's got the batting average up to 223. 10 home runs, 29 runs batted in as he swings through that fastball. He was up the count at one and one. Josh had a, a solid road trip, nine for 21, three doubles, four RBIs, scored seven runs, he made uh, some pretty incredible defensive plays in Houston. This one shot to the left side, and that's through for a base hit, and that's kind of what we saw on that road trip. Yeah, his ability is to let the baseball travel, his hands quiet through the baseball, and a lot of confidence to see if he can let that ball get deeper in the zone and hit the ball hard that way. That's a great pitch from Lynn, but a better swing from Hamilton. A little two-seam fastball running away, still got the good part of the bat on it because he's not moving, open up the front hips, shoulders stay level, head did too, and then ground ball in the hole. And Lozan, their leadoff man on in the first inning. Didn't do anything with him. Hamilton is on board now for Howie Kendrick. First one's a strike. Now we have 317 batting average. Nine home runs, 38 runs batted in. And the more Josh hits the ball that way, eventually pitchers are going to try to sneak something inside, and that's when he turns on a baseball and hits it out. This was pulled on the left side, and that's a base hit. Hamilton advances to second, so back-to-back -back knocks for the Angels here to start the second inning. And Lynn is going to be downstairs with his fastball consistently, so you're going to see a lot of ground balls. And that one found a hole also. Sinker in the inner half, but Howie's so quick. So, so many hits of late up the middle to right center field, but he also has that ability to get the hands through the baseball and drive it in the hole between short and third. That's his 100th hit of the season for Howie Kendrick, the top 10 in that category. Two on, nobody on Mark Trumbo at the plate. First one's up and away. Trumbo batting down in the sixth spot tonight. 251 batting average, has 18 home runs, 51 driven home. Mark five for 23 on the road trip. A little three game hitting streak going now. This one's looped out towards center field. That's going to get down for a hit. And that will score a run. Kendrick rounds second. He'll head to third. And the Angels have a 1 0 lead. I was talking to Mark Trombo before the game about Lance Lynn. He said he faced him a number of times in the minor league. He said he's going to get a lot of fastballs, and that one was up. Jammed him, but most flares into the outfield are elevated pitches, and that was an elevated fastball. And Trombo so strong, still able to fight that into the outfield for a base hit and an RBI, giving him 52 RBIs tied with Mike Trout for that lead for the Angels. So the Angels with three straight hits to start the second. Have runners at the corners. Nobody on and Kayas put the plate. Kayas will hitting 268. Four home runs, 30 runs batted in. Looks at his drive. Where Lindbrick right at you. Just comes right down that mound, that slope. Big guy, 6'5", listed at 240. Good stuff, good movement on his pitches. Working from the stretch with Kendrick at third and Trumbo at first. He's got a real good fastball, but I think as a hitter, what you have to try to do against him, once he drops his elbow enough, that is an opportunity for that fastball to be elevated, and that's the one you attack. Starting at the knees is going to be very difficult to make contact. Saw what he threw with Pujols, that two-seamer down and in against him. Teosmo fouls it off to the left. See if Teosmo can get right back when he was on that good hit streak. Kept his hands quieter, 
and level and through the baseball when he gets underneath in that loop swing that's those fly balls to left fly ball to short see more compact and drive the ball outfield playing shallow for st louis One, two down low. Two balls, two strikes. All new to the Angels. To now one guy in the major leagues anyway. Has faced Lance Lynn in the big leagues. You mentioned Mark Trumbo down in the minors. Now the 2-2. Two -two breaking ball. And a full count. Full counts already in this game for Lance Lynn. Three of them, as a matter of fact. Good patience. We mentioned that in the opening. Patience at the plate of late for Angel hitters. Trumbo takes off the three twos, bounce to the left side. That's going to sneak through for a hit. Trumbo will stay at second. Two nothing Angels. Kayasco with an RBI single. He's putting the ball in play. Not trying to do too much. A base hit rewarded with a base hit RBI for Kayasco with the movement. And Mike Sosha did that a lot on this past road trip. Had a lot of action with base runners going three two. Trumbo going forces that gap between short and third. It ends up being a base hit. Instead of a potential double play ball. So first and second, still nobody out. Chris Ionet of the batter. Eric Ibor on deck. Good decision by Trumbo not to go to third. Once he didn't pick up where that baseball was, you don't just go, you stay there. And mentioned the outfielders playing shallow as Ionetta looks at a strike. Two fourteen batting average for Ryan Adams, six home runs, twenty six RBIs. Got the start in Saturday's game, one for four, and that was a two run home run for him. One ball, one strike. Good crowded, still filling it here at the ballpark. A lot of excitement about this series. First time the Cardinals have ever made a visit here at the Big A. Breaking pitch, and that's popped up. Adams, the first baseman in the foul territory, makes the grab. One out. Hey, folks, on July 27th, Corona Light presents Kenny Chesney's No Shoes Nation Tour. Starring Kenny Chesney, Eric Church, Eli Young Band, and Casey Musgraves. Sweet rentals are now on sale. To reserve your suite, visit angels.com slash Chesney today. It's a pretty good concert work. Mm -hmm. Zionetta is the first down here, the second. That'll bring up Eric Ibar. Eric starting to get hot. Taking the batting average up to 284. Three home runs, 31 runs batted in. Eight for 19 on the road trip. Takes a strike. He had 33 hits in the month of June. Eight RBI in that last road trip. Big home run, too. Two run shot against Jose Alvarez, against the Tigers. And a couple big hits with the bases loaded back to back against Houston. Trumbo at second, Kayaspo at first. 0 oh, 1. That's lined to center, a base hit. Trumbo is going to be waved in. Here comes the throw from John Jay. It is offline and unable to be cut by Adams. And the Angels' lead is now 3 0. And Ibar continues to swing the bat well. Great approach up the middle. Base hit, another RBI. Well, you got to like this swing right here from Ibar. Again, got the fastball up from Lynn. If it's down around the knees, very difficult to elevate and hit it hard. That was probably the hardest hit of this inning. And Eric Ibar provides that with an RBI. Aggressive base running. Maybe caught a break there. 
But Adams unable to field that throw in from the outfield. Yeah. They will press the issue against John Jay as far as arm strength. Beltron's got a very good, accurate arm in right field. Alan Craig's solid arm in left. It's like Jay cut that throw a little bit as a left-handed thrower, and it just kind of kept running away from Adams. If he comes up with it, they might have a play on Kayaspo third. And when you're facing a guy like Lance Lynn, who's had his issues in interleague play, one and two mark with an ERA, oh, well over four, you're going to try to be more aggressive. But if he's cutting that off, there's a play at third, and all of a sudden that big inning potential goes away. Second and third, one out. Corner infielders are in. Middle infielders are back against J.B. Shuck, who looks at a breaking pitch outside. RBI for Ibar, his 32nd. Shock had a single in the first, so he's one for one. Five hits here in the second inning for the Angels. Six overall in the game. We have a lot of fastballs from Lynn. Starts Shuck off with a curveball, then a changeup. This one's back toward the middle, and Lynn just misses it. Nice play by the second baseman Carpenter to keep it on the infield. It is a 4-0 Angels lead. It's pretty good read by Kayaspo to come over and score on that ball also rather easily. And Ibar to advance to third. So you got good speed at the corners with Ibar third and Shuck at first and Mike Trout at the plate. Sometimes these baseballs fool you as a pitcher. You think it's hit harder. You react thinking get the glove up there right away because you hear the sound. Might have broke his bat. So he had his glove up there quickly. But then unable to make the play. It's almost like a butterfly with trying to catch it with a net. It'll it, go as a single and an RBI. After you release the baseball, that sound, you're thinking, I better be quick. And his glove was up there quick, and then all of a sudden the baseball was there yet. Here's Trout. Takes the breaking pitch down low. Eighth man to bat here the second. Mike hit a fly ball to center field in the first. Four-nothing Angels here in the second. One out. Eric Ibar, the base runner at third, Chuck at first. Lynn's coming off a loss his last time out against Houston. Four runs, five hits, and seven and two-thirds. One his two previous starts. Back toward the middle. Carpenter's there, bobbles it for a second, throws the first, safe at first. Five-nothing Angels. As an infielder, speed makes you do things more quickly than you are normally going to make that play. This Carpenter tried to be quick to get to the base, realizing he's got to step on the base and be super quick to throw Trout out. They're unable to hold on to the baseball. Not only does not get Trout, does then get J.B. Shuck at second. Trout will get an RBI, but now it's been put down as an error on Carpenter, but he does get an RBI. Here's Albert. Takes the breaking ball for a strike. Fifty-third RBI of the year for Trout. Albert struck out in the first inning. It was a strike him out, throw him out, double play to end the first. So he's 0 for 1. Still one out. Fouls this one off to the right. Adams will give it a look, but it's into the seats. 0-2 count. One of the most home runs with the Cardinals. Stan the man, all-time leader, 475 poles just behind him. 445, Ken Boyer, 255, and Jim Edmonds with 241, who we saw earlier during batting practice walking around meeting and greeting some Former teammates with the Angels and the Cardinals. One and two. 26th pitch of the inning for Lance Lynn. Good speed on the bases with J.B. Shuck at second. Trout at first. The error, by the way, on Carpenter, his eighth of the year. Just the 34th for St. Louis. The 1-2 off the plate. Two balls, two strikes. He, 
continues to try to throw that fastball off the outside corner. They're trying to run it back and catch the corner. Two, two. Swing and a miss. Two outs. That same pitch that he got in the first inning, down and in underneath the hands. That'll bring up Hamilton. Well, we've seen pitchers a lot of late for that fastball. Down and in underneath the hands of Albert Pulse. We saw it at home by Rivera for the Yankees to finish off that game on three pitches. Same exact spot. Pools generally tries to get that bat head out, make good connection, and keep it fair down the left field line, but unable to do so there. So two outs, Hamilton at the plate. He's the one that got this party started with a base hit. Leading off the inning. Came around to score the first of five so far here in this second. That's a pretty good swing, too, with a fastball. Cardinals do not uh, move around a whole lot defensively as far as shifting on guys, at least that we've seen now through the first time through the order. The Scalso at third base off the line. Adams deep at first. A one pitch. Oh, a two. A little mislocation there that uh, was just in enough on the hands. I just like the way Hamilton's hands appear going through the baseball right now. Still wearing that, uh, that wrist guard on the right wrist. And he swings and misses on the breaking ball. He will concede the strikeout, and the inning comes to an end. But not before the Angels score five on six hits. Two of the books. Angels on top. One, and not a whole lot of baseballs squared up or driven into the alley. All singles for the Angels, but they uh, made them count. Well, we said that when we talked about Lance Lynn as a guy that's going to keep that fastball down. Very difficult to elevate. He's allowed five home runs in over 100 innings pitched. So you have to base hit him. They certainly did that with six of them in the second inning. Descalso, a 274 average this year. Big rip. Fouls it back. One and two now. Three home runs, 23 RBIs. Third round pick in 07. And if you see Davis, Mountain View, California native. One, two on the way. 
This one's popped up. Third base side should be playable for Kayaspo. Put away. Well, we're going to get you updated as the game progresses on our Carl's Jr. Sports Update around Major League Baseball. The price is right. David Price back for the Tampa Bay Rays was dominant in his performance. And Homer Bailey throws another no no. That's two no hitters for Homer, Homer Bailey back to back seasons. Nine innings, just one walk, nine punch outs. 109 pitches made during that gem. Almost perfection. So the last guy to throw a no hitter last year. The first guy to throw one this, one this year. We've seen a number of pitches get close this season, mm -hmm. but Homer Bailey. This one down the line. Long run in for Hamilton and toward the foul line he goes. Crosses into foul territory. Two outs. Two fly ball out for Weaver here to strike to third. Back to the top of the order we go on Matt Carpenter. We touched on a little bit with Josh Hamilton. It, even through uh, April and May when it was going rough for Josh. No letdown whatsoever defensively for him. Never saw him carry it out to the field. You look at his errors. Okay, he's got five errors, but how many of those? I think it's three or four of those on ball checking up or charging a baseball hits off the end of his glove. Yeah, sometimes you'll get that as an outfit when you're aggressive. But it's still, that's what you want to see as a manager and or a pitcher. You want to see your outfielder aggressively coming in on the baseball. So there's been a couple of errors made that certainly weren't from lack of hustle. And he made some outstanding plays in Houston. Joe Blanton certainly thanked him. Picking up his second win of the season. Great, great plays at the wall. Robbing would-be home runs by Josh Hamilton. This one down the left field line, slicing toward the seats, and it's a one-ball, two-strike count on Carpenter, the second baseman, who grounded out his first time up. Two base runners for the cards. The error by Kayaspo. The ball that Molina hit in the first inning, and then the single by Freeze with one out of the second. This one pulled and pass trouble down the line. Headed toward the corner. Carpenter's on his way to second. Hamilton plays the carom cleanly, gets it back in, and Carpenter on board with his 24th double of the year. It comes with two outs here to third. Extra base machine. Matt Carpenter. Seven home runs, 24 doubles, seven triples. He gets this one by Mark Trumbo, a slider that stayed up. In the strike zone and by him down the line, almost able to make the play. Man in scoring position for the first time, and Yadier Molina, the catcher, steps in 0 for 1. Leading the National League in hitting with a 345 batting average at the start of the day. The first one's lifted in the air to right. Hamilton over a couple of steps. And the inning comes to an end. No runs, a hit, one left on. We will head to the bottom of the third. The Angels leading it by another.
usual, throws out the first pitch to Albert Pujols. Good pitch, too. Had some cut action on that four-seam fastball. A lot of smiles there. What a moment. And before the game, the Angels during batting practice were wearing the uh, stamp usual patch. What an unbelievable human being he was. Great, great baseball player. We all know that. But if you had a chance to talk to him, great man. Yep. Now at Kendrick, Mark Trumbo and Alberto Cayaspo here in the bottom of the third. Lance Lynn on the bump. Three strikeouts for him. No walk, seven hits allowed. Now he had a knock and a run scored in the second. The count is now even at one ball, one strike. Dropped down a little bit. And slider, and he still was on that Howie. Breaking pitch down a lot. That is just foul. Bill Miller, the third base umpire, with the call. Nice effort by Descalso, the third baseman. Well, that was real, real close to going over the base. Good view here, ground ball right down the line. Off the chalk and then on the other side of the base, good call by Bill Miller. Right there to be able to make that call. This one's looped out toward right center field. Beltron and Jay, and that falls in there. Second hit of the game for Howie. And the Angels in all three innings so far tonight have got their leadoff man off. And Carlos Beltron plays an extremely deep right field at one point in his career a very very good goal glover in center field but those knees not quite as quick as it used to be for carlos beltran plays a little bit deeper still a strong throwing arm very accurate but has to play a little bit deeper to offset that lack of speed he once had at one point how frustrating is that as a pitcher with you start looking at now the eight hits nothing's been smoked yeah, there might be a few things thrown around in the clubhouse at some point after a while. But eventually, when you start making events, you're going to overthrow a ball. And you, like, that's going to be your result. You're going to make a mistake, and somebody's going to crush one at some point. And Trumbo nearly did that one. Mark had a single with an RBI and a run score to the second. Gets jammed on the fastball. 0-2 count. Not a very big lead for Kendrick at first. Trumbo chases the breaking ball. One out. Pretty sharp slider from Lynn on that one. Fourth strike out of the game. It's a little different arm angle for a slider, but it's a sharp, true slider. A lot of times you'll hear slurve or big break to a slider, but that's a true slider. Not much of a break, but late action at the very end. One out, one on. Kayaspo the batter. He got the count to three and two in his first plate appearance and then singled through the hole on the left side, picked up an RBI. 30, first run batted in for Alberto. Long look in for Lynn. Oh, and one. Lance got to the big leagues for the first time with the Cardinals in 2011.
mostly out of the bullpen. 18 games, two starts, one and one mark, a 3.12 ERA. And last year, 35 games, 29 starts, 18 and seven, and a 3.78. 180 strikeouts for him last year. Done a tremendous job developing arms through their system, power arms. This a bouncer back to the mound. He fires to second. Cosmo, the shortstop, turns the double play. The Angels are done here in the third. Three complete, five, nothing Angels. Jared Weaver, 13 and four in interleague play. Justin Verlander, 20 and two. Mark Burley, 27 and nine. The three best in Major League history with 20 or more starts. First one of Beltran is cut on and missed on the breaking ball. Cardinals sending up three, four, and five. The Angels on top, five nothing here. In the fourth. Carlos hit a fly ball to right field in the first inning, so he's 0 for one. Pulled over to first. Trumbo's got it. Waves off Weaver. One out. And this summer, the Angels and Denny's are partnering with local libraries to encourage students to take part in the Rally Readers program to promote reading among children. Kids 5 to 13 are eligible to become members and can be registered to win great prizes. For more info and to register your child, visit angels.com slash community. Well read on that one, Victor. You like that? Yes. You I took practicing. it home and I studied. Yes, you did. Didn't want to butcher the uh, Rally Raiders program read. Gotta say that say one. That. No, thank you. Here's Alan Craig. Looks at a strike. 89 on that fastball from Weaver. We've seen some 88 mile an hour fastballs from Weave so far. Craig 0 for 1. Fly ball to right field. His first time up. One ball, one strike. No strikeouts, no walks, two hits allowed for Jared. Cardinals coming into the big A. And lost two of three to Oakland over the weekend. They had the off day here in Southern California yesterday. They played well all season long. 27 and 16 out on the road this year. Chasing the high fastball, even to count. Well, that's something if you're Weaver, you can remember later on in the game that Craig will chase upstairs. Because you were not familiar with a lot of these hitters if you're Weaver. So you remember that at certain points of the game where you can exploit a hitter who will chase something out of the strike zone. 
Here's the 2-2. Ground ball back up the middle. Knocked down. It's slowed by Weaver. It goes near the bag. Kendrick can't come up with it. Infield base hit for Allen Craig. A difficult play, too, for how he's run right at the base after it was deflected off the glove from Weaver. No chance to be able to make that play. You wonder if that ball got through cleanly anyhow. How he might have been in position to backhand that baseball, but a change of direction at the base. Good effort though by Howie. Matt Adams to batter. He's the first baseman. Takes outside. Adams lined out softly to Trumbo to lead off the second. He's 0 for 1. 24 year old six home runs 20 RBIs this year on the 23rd round pick 2009 Out of slippery rock university He's a PA guy. Yeah, there you go Phillipsburg, Pennsylvania I'm Trying to think where Phillips you're not quite sure no There's the one one this one's hooked down a line. That's headed for extra bases. Rounding second and heading to third as Craig Hamilton picks it up cleanly and will get it back in. Craig will have to stop at third. So a double for Adams puts two on with one out here. David Fries coming up. That's one thing about this Cardinal club. Very dangerous lineup. One through nine, especially here in interleague play. Can utilize the DH. That pitch was elevated. And Adams turns on his eighth double of the season. Nice job by Hamilton getting in quickly. David Freeze out of base hit in the second inning, so he's one for one. This Cardinal club with less than two outs with runners in scoring position, 349 batting average. This one bounced over to third. Kayaspo wanted to come home, but he'll take the out at first. It's five to one Angels as Freeze picks up the RBI. It looked like Alberta couldn't quite get the handle of the baseball. At that point, you take it out. <laughs> Adams stays at second base. And Craig going on contact. You can see right there that Albert, Alberto thought about it, but then couldn't get to handle the baseball and takes the out at first. Two outs, men at second. Here's John Jay, the center fielder. Off speed pitch in for a strike. By the way, I did some research here. Phillipsburg is a kind of north of Altoona. So basically Ohio then, right? <laughs> and and wh where's your cutoff? Harrisburg. Harrisburg is your cut. Well, then, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much three quarters <laughs> of the state. <laughs> well, there's Philadelphia, then every and, other And everything else, yes. right? Okay. Now I know. Yes. That's where Matt Adams is from. It's a big guy. Yeah, he won't be a guy that you want to be in position to try to block the plate against. That's for sure. No. Sweep tag is just fine by me. 0-2 to Jay. Breaking ball is low. One ball, two strikes. The Angels with five runs in the second inning. The Cardinals have struck for one here in the fourth. Angels have eight, nine, and one coming up at the bottom of the inning. Ionetta, Ivar, and Chuck. One, two. That hit him. And he tried that no seam fastball to start at the hip to bring back to the inside corner, but it stayed true and hit Jay. It's the fourth batter that Weaver has hit this season. In the back of the leg. 
Now Mike Butcher is going to come out. 50 pitches for Weaver. Daniel Descalso, the third baseman, coming up. 31 strikes for Weaver. Two hits allowed here in the fourth inning. The single by Craig, the double by Adams, and then Freeze with the RBI ground out. Todd Titchener going out there to break up the meeting. And they're the ones that bug you as a pitcher because you you have Jay in a position where you can try to make him chase something out of the strike zone. Got to hit 0-2 and then try to bounce a breaking ball and then try to freeze him with a fastball in. Instead, he hits him and you put another base runner on the bases now. The Angels do overshift on Descalso. Well, Ibar now moving back towards short. Originally behind the bag at second. This one's fouled off to the left. Descalso popped out to Kayaspa in foul territory, leading off the third. So he's 0 for 1. Two twenty-seven average last year. Jared was motioning to Ionetta that he thought he dropped his elbow. Even though the velocity was good at 89, his elbow dropped down. He wants to stay on top with his delivery. This is a broken bat bouncer over to Ibar. Goes to Kendrick and they force out just barely. John Jay at second base. Let's head to the bottom of the fourth. Cardinals get on the board. The Angels on top five to one. Your Southern California Kia retailers at MySoCalKia.com. Boy, gorgeous shot of Southern California. The Big A is where we are at. First of six here at home. Three against the Cards. Three against the Red Sox. The Angels leading this one five to one. As we start at the bottom of the fourth inning, Chris Iannetta, Eric Ibar, and J.B. Shuck to face Lance Lynn. Iannetta fouls off the first one. It's an 0-1 count. Chris popped out into foul territory in the second inning. 0 for 1 tonight. It be good to see the offense get back on a roll. Scoring those five runs in the second. But this Cardinal club can score runs right back at you. So you got to think in terms of pressing the issue still. Check swing foul. 0 at 2. Game in Texas is a final. 9-2. Seattle defeats the Rangers. Oakland now trailing Oakland 5-3. That game's in the fourth. But Raul Abanez is 20th home run for Seattle tonight. He's got an outside chance of 40 home runs. Boy, he basically didn't play a ton for the Yankees until the end of the season. He came up with some 
memorable home runs. Postseason, get him there. Two balls, two strikes. He's a guy that Seattle that obviously signed him to be a veteran guy. They thought they had revamped the offense a little bit. Could potentially be a trade chip for Seattle. But for me, at this point, the way he's playing is a good influence on the rest yeah. of the young players, especially they're, they're starting to bring up more and more young players for Seattle. And that strikes out swinging on the breaking pitch. There's the first down here, the fourth. Fourth punch out for Lynn. See Seattle on that next road trip. He's going to Wrigley Field for two. The safe go for three, and then the All-Star break. Two weeks from today, it counts. No question. All-Star game at City Field. As a matter of fact, the uh, the unveiling of the uh, All-Star roster is going to be on Fox on Saturday. Coming up. Eric Ibar with an RBI single and a run score. Swings through the first one. He lost the, uh, the handle of the bat. The top hand came flying off. 0-1 count. Well, Eric's been having some real good swings of late. And an RBI single in the second inning. 32 RBI this season for Eric Ibar, including eight on the past road trip. Six game trip, eight RBI. One one. This was lined to second. Two outs. Here's tonight's for his light, cold, hard, fat. Speaking of Mike Davini's Cardinals, their first visit to Angel Stadium. The Cardinals are the last National League club to play at Angel Stadium. You know, interleague play start back in 1997. The cold, hard fact is brought to you by Frost Brew Coors Light. Crazy it's taken that long. J.B. Shuck takes him shot. He's two for two with an RBI. See how many people here at the stadium here tonight with the anticipation of the Cardinals coming into town. A lot of fans here. Bouncer over to first. Adams has it. Runs over the bag. Goes back. Touches it. A one, two, three inning for Lynn. First time he's done that tonight. We're through four. The Angels still on top. Group sitting in this section will receive an exclusive Trout Farm shirt with their purchase. For more information and to purchase your tickets, just log on at angels.com slash groups. Jared Weaver back to work here in the fifth inning with the Angels up by the score of 5-1. to one. Cosma, Carpenter, and Molina, 9-1-2 and two for St. Louis. Cosma to fly ball to right field in the third inning. So for one, he'll look at a strike. Cosmo, former first round pick, 11th overall back in 2007. 
but most of last year at Triple A, and then Rafi for call got hurt. Cosma got called up. Well, he had just some, got hot. Man, he had some big hits down the stretch. 333 for the Cards, two home runs, 14 RBIs to end the year, and then of course a very good postseason. Jared falls behind here, two balls and one strike. This one's fouled back right above us. Gave it to count at 2 or 2. Cardinals with a run on four hits, one error. They've left four on base. The Angels, five runs, eight hits, one error. The Halos have left two on base. 2 2 pitch. It's off the end of the bat, rolled foul. The change up there from Weaver. The other 2 2 in the air. First base shot headed toward the seats behind the dugout. Is it a battle here? He lays off a tough pitch, full count. Well, that was pretty close to a strike. Pretty good slider. The Weaver. I think I've noticed in this Cardinal lineup, they swing it almost every fastball, no matter where it is, but they lay off breaking pitches, whether it's this curveball or slider. They're aggressive. There's no question about that. They're up there swinging early in the count. Down 3-2. Swing and a miss on the off speed pitch, and there's out number one. First strike out of the night for Jared. Real good off speed pitch here. Looked like he snapped a little curveball over. 81 mile an hour pitch out in front. It's a great angle. You can see how far out in front his hip opened up, couldn't make contact with the curveball. Matt Carpenter at the plate. He doubled the last time up. 24th double of the year. One for two tonight. At the bottom of the fourth, we were talking about the Cardinals making their first ever visit here to the big game. A couple of uh, those types of series throughout Major League Baseball. I mentioned 97, the first time interleague play. And it's kind of strange that it's taken so long with the way you know, 14 teams, 16 team leagues, the mix and match. Just the, the regular interleague series. This is one of those series, fun, you know, first time ever. Cubs at the Athletics right now. Second through the fourth. The Rays will be at the Dodgers for the first time ever. That's coming up in August. And then uh, still one left to be played. The Padres visiting Toronto. Check swing foul. The count remains at one ball, two strikes. Although. The A's did host the Cubs in the 1910 and 1929 World Series when the Coliseum was first built. <laughs> in that same desk that we work? Yes. On? Yeah. Definitely. That carpet has not been changed since. <laughs> it's a beautiful facility. Why wouldn't you have carpet? <laughs> There's the one, two. Two balls, two strikes. Boy, I hope that franchise, that city, can figure it out and get a new ballpark built. If it's not in Oakland, let it be San Jose, San Jose or wherever. Two-two. Breaking pitch, looped down the line, tailing away and towards the seats. Well, after that slow curveball from Weaver, that one is 73. You would think go upstairs with a fastball now. And folks might be sitting at home sitting going 88 miles per hour, right? These guys late on 88 miles per hour. It's because his changeup and curveball are so effective. 73 miles an hour. His changeup's around 76, but he has touched 91. 
Off speed. Bounced over to Trumbo. Two outs. This copyrighted telecast is presented by authority of the Los Angeles Angels and may not be reproduced or retransmitted in any form. And the accounts and descriptions of this game may not be disseminated without the express written consent of Angels Baseball LP. I know Jared's really was looking forward to this opportunity to pitch against the Cardinals. He remembers back in 2007 when his brother was on that Cardinal club that won the World Series. Love that experience going there to St. Louis and watching it. Now an opportunity to be able to beat them here tonight. Molina looks at a breaking pitch for a strike. Molina's 0 for 2. Reached out an error by Kayaspa in the first, at the fly to right in the third. Beltran on deck. 5 1 Angels here in the fifth. Bouncer back toward the middle. That's into center field. A two out knock. The ground ball at the middle seemed to surprise Jared. He's done a tremendous job as far as working on his fielding. When he first came up, because of the way he throws the baseball, difficult to be in fielding position, but he's worked hard. Very good as far as his quick move to first, but fielding his position also. Right back up the middle. No one count on Carlos Beltran. 0 for 2, a fly to right and a ground ball to first. Certainly one thing I'm happy that Jerry didn't do, reach up there with his bare hand, the pitching hand, and try to field that ball once he was falling towards first. I was just going to ask you about, uh, you know, that night in Arlington when he went down on that liner. He's looking to miss. 90 miles per hour, 0 and 2 now. If uh, if after something like that happens, you yeah, that was a freak thing. He lost his balance, fell down, broke his elbow. Does that make you gun shot? No question. No question about it. Uh, no matter, regardless of how good a fielder you yeah, are, because you because you, you realize that that how quick the baseball comes back at at you. We've talked a lot about hit speed off the bat and how quickly it can come off the bat, 100 miles an hour, and your reaction time. When you follow through, you're 50 feet away. So anything hit up the middle. We saw it with Lance Lynn earlier, that ball that was jammed by J.B. Shuck. His reaction was that ball's coming back quickly, but it wasn't at that point. That bat shatters and splinters everywhere as he hit that curveball off the end of the bat. It goes foul. I don't see a bat shatter like that too much. Breaking ball. That happened. I think that happens more often. See the end of the bat. There's one of those cupped balance bats. It's kind of uh, not explain it for you, but there's a. It's kind of hollowed out there at the top of the barrel. There's the one two. Missed inside. Two balls, two strikes. Real good view. I mentioned that cup, so it is hollow at the end, and he certainly got that off the end of the bat on the curveball because he was out in front. That was by design by Weaver. Swing and a miss on the changeup. That's that Bugs Bonnie changeup as Weaver picks up his first couple of strikeouts. Went to the bottom of the fifth, 5 1 Halos.
five strikeouts, no walks. Eight hits allowed by Lynn, 65 pitches. And a very long second. Anybody has calmed down since then. He's faced a minimum three batters in the other three innings, courtesy of a couple of double play balls. Did have a one, two, three frame in the fourth. Trout 0 for 2, a fly ball to center. And reached down the error by Carpenter, the second baseman, but also picked up an RBI, his 53rd of the year on that play. Two balls and no strikes. But judging from that slider from Lynn, that must be the baseball that gets squared up more so than, than his fastball. He gets underneath that pitch and it flattens out and goes a big part of the bat. 3 0. And Chris Ionet, if I remember correctly, going back to that uh, second inning at bat, took one and then swung at another, and that's the one he popped out. It was kind of a little bit of a hanging breaking ball. Yeah, that's a pitch that I, I think that Lynn. As I recall, I've seen some games from him too. That's a, a mistake pitch he will throw on occasion. Because this fastball, very good movement, well located. The slider is his mistake pitch. Three one. Takes a strike, full count. May have been the case where Trout might have been looking for that. 3-1 slider. Yeah, that fastball's fastball. right down the middle. And, he, and he's shaking his head like, oh, uh, yeah, I just missed that one. And he got him with a high fastball. After getting ahead 3-0, strikeout number six for Lynn, one out here in the fifth. We'll go back and revisit the Hyundai keeping the game. The souls of swing about the importance of pools and Hamilton. Albert so far unsuccessful getting that bat head out on that two-seam fastball down and in. But Hamilton keyed. That second inning, getting a base hit, continues to see the ball well. Even though he struck out his last at bat, had some pretty good swings against him. Breaking pitch, this is in. Albert 0 for 2 with a couple of punch outs. Bounces this with foul. It's a hanging break of ball there, but Pujols out in front. Still aware of that two-seam fastball in that Linden's got him twice with. Albert ahead of the count now. Yeah, as much as you watch games on TV and you see guys, that, especially in the other league, that you don't see often. You kind of take away a little something what you expect out of him. Boy, and Lynn, first time I get to see him live. This guy's fun to watch. Yeah, and he, everything is down in the zone for the most part with that fastball. Yeah, and it will use both sides of the plate. He's trying to get you out like most pitchers will try to do on the fastball away. But he does throw a very good two-seam fastball down and in against right-handed batters in a way against lefties. That tough second inning as far as his pitch count, pretty manageable. The last three innings is 10 it pitches each in the last three innings for him. 2-2. Two, two. Lays off the breaking pitch. Now the first two at-bats. I'm surprised he went with a slider there. I got to believe he's got to be going that two-seam fastball now down and in. Getting a little two-seam grip on the baseball there also. And he walked him. First walk of the ball game for either side. Comes to Albert Pujols here in the fifth. Hamilton will step in the play. Would you consider the approach that Lynn takes a kind of a, a throwback, an old school approach? And here's my fastball. Yeah. Here well, it is. Remember, we were talking with Dennis Martinez on Sunday. And the, the philosophy for the Baltimore Orioles back in the day when they had all those 20 game winners, dominant pitching staffs, was fastball, four seam fastballs away at the knees, live there. Until a hitter, uh, until a hitter, hitter makes an adjustment, and you just live at that spot. Then you look out. Then you can throw that two seam underneath the hand like he did the pools twice. That's it. A very effective, still the most effective pitch, a fastball, especially located at the knees away, both against a right-handed batter and a left-handed batter. One ball, one strike. Hamilton one for two, a single through the left side of the second inning. 
And he struck out on the second. Both of those at bats happening in that second inning. Adams playing behind, or pardon me, in front of Pujols at first base. In the air to left, and it's playable for Craig. Two outs. Same approach, trying to drive the ball that way, which is the right approach for Hamilton. And eventually, like I said, pitchers will start throwing fastballs in, sliders, hard sliders in. That's when you're going to see him drive the ball at the right center field to right field. Now he's two for two with a couple of singles. Fouled off to the right. Beltran has moved in a step or two now in the right field, seeing the approach that Howie has to that way. He's taken a couple of steps towards the foul line as well. Seen some teams play that uh, that type of a defensive alignment against Kendrick. One and one now. Best we see. Lynn throwing sliders, fastballs away to Howie. First at bat, Howie got a base hit on a fastball in. He was able to get his tuck his hands in to get that ground ball in the hole between short and third. He went around the breaking ball. One ball, two strikes on Kendrick. 5-1 Angels here at the bottom of the fifth. But he's been fighting that, that outside corner the entire game. He hasn't quite been as crisp with his fastball away. He hasn't given up trying to hit that spot, that's no. for sure. So it was six punch outs, one walk. And Howie fouls this one back. Went back to the fastball again. Howard with a one out walk stands at first. Trumbo on deck. All five runs for the Angels coming in the second. Breaking pitch line to center, making a three hit game for Kendrick. Well, that's a great approach. Again, that's that slider that doesn't quite have the break. It's underneath it. Even though that was down, it goes to the good part of the bat. And Howie back up the middle for another hit. Slider, the big thing with that wrist, he does not get on top of the baseball. It flattens out. It becomes a very hittable pitch. 11th three-hit game of the year for Howie Kendrick. Has 102 hits on the season now. And trouble with an opportunity here to tack on some runs for the Angels. Pujol standing at second, Kendrick at first. Trouble one for two, an RBI single in the second, a strikeout on the breaking ball in the third. Howie coming into this game hit 361 at home. Three for three will improve that average even more so. The Angels have hit well here at home. 281 team batting average here. 251 on the road. Although the road batting average starting to, to come up a little bit. One ball, one strike. 88th pitch of the night for Lynn. Halo's overall fourth in the American League with that 267 team batting average. Off the plate. Two balls and one strike. Seth Maness getting ready. 
you think right now Trumbo should get a fastball, probably a fastball away. Matheny's done a very good job taking over this Cardinal club. Tony the Roos retired. Two and two now. Now the 2-2. Fastball got him looking on the outside corner. And the inning comes to an end. Five complete here at the Big A. And the Angels maintain a 5-1 lead. It's a leadoff. Batter in the fifth with a punch out. Cosma swinging on a curveball. Then Beltran way out in front. Change up get his two punch outs. Weaver's gone through five innings, five hits allowed. Just one earned run for Weaver. No walks, two strikeouts, and 78 pitches thrown for Weaver. He's going to face Craig Adams and Freeze here in the sixth inning for St. Louis. The only two strikeouts that Weaver's picked up, both coming in the fifth inning. Alec Craig, one for two. Base hit with a run score to the fourth. So he lays off that pitch. One ball, one strike. Craig with 18 doubles, a couple of triples. 307 hitter last year with the cards. 22 home runs, 92 runs batted it. Pulls out with foul way out in front of the off speed pitch. Now I'm wondering if Weaver will go high fastball. Last at bat before the base hit by Craig. He got him to chase a high fastball. He's upset up after an off speed pitch, the pitch before. Swing and a miss on the breaking pitch. Down goes Craig. One away. A sharp slider. Good break to that slider. You know what? Weaver's used all his pitches during the course of this five and a third so far. Slider grip, slider rotation. He's got his three strikeouts one on a curveball, one on a slider, one on the changeup. Adams looks at a breaking ball for his strike. Got a pitch on the inside part of the plate in the fourth inning and rifled it down the right field line for a double. 
Oh, with two. Look at the differential in, in speeds. Pitch before 71 mile an hour curveball, 87 mile an hour fastball there. So he's thrown curveball, fastball, slider in this sequence. I wonder if we'll try a change up away. Use all of his pitches here. Called strike three. There's that two seam fastball. Delayed call by Todd Titchener, and Adams didn't like it. Two outs. When we talked about the different grips. He had a four seam fastball, the conventional one for Weaver, the two seam slash no seam. You can see those fingers on leather only. Change up grip, curveball, what we saw in this sequence against Adams, and his slider also. All these pitches very effective. All are out pitches for Weaver. Not many pitchers can have five out pitches. Weaver definitely has that. David Fries one for two with a single and an RBI ground out. 28th run batted in. Great, great changeup. One ball, two strikes to Cardinals team that has hit 287 this year against right handed pitching. 238 against lefties. Foul back. Cal remains at a ball and two strikes. To try to get a, an easy one, two, three inning for him. It has eluded him tonight. He's had a couple of four batter innings. Two balls, two strikes. 91 pitches now for Weaver. 59 have been strikes. Four punch outs, no walks. Five hits allowed. This one's looped in the air down the line, and that is going to fall in for a hit. Chuck over to cut it off. Freeze rounds first. He's going to try to go to second. Relays cut off, and a throw is not in time. So it's a double for David Freeze. I'm wondering um, how much Eric Ibar had to cut that ball off. Yep, that throw looked pretty accurate right at the base. Ibar wasn't quite sure that was going to have enough on it to be able to get there and get freeze. The shock cut that ball off well. And when you cut it off, that slight time differential allowed freeze to be able to dive in and just get his hand in before Howie applies the tag. Yeah. 11th double second hit of the game for freeze it wasn't fully committed to going to second base either no it looked like he was going around initially thinking it was going to be a double when shuck cut it off then he was caught in between going and not going in the scoring position with two outs you always try to take that extra base john jay the batter he rolled into a double play in the second inning was hit by a pitch in the fourth 0 for one tonight Two balls and no strikes. Third time tonight that Weaver's gotten the first two batters out to start an inning and then is allowed a hit. Halos with five and a second. Cardinals with one in the fourth. Two and one. Boy, Jay thinking he's going to get a fastball 2-0 count instead got a change up from Weaver. Back to back changeups now evens a count up. One thing about Weaver, he's not afraid to go back to back to back change ups. If he feels comfortable with that pitch and he sees a hitter out in front, as long as you keep it down, it should be an effective pitch.
And he went around on the high fastball. Down he goes. The inning comes to an end. Five strikeouts of the night for Weaver. The Angels still on top 5-1. Baseball, the price is right. David Price, seven shutout innings is a return for the Rays, and Homer Bailey throws another no-no. Back-to-back seasons. Ground ball to third. Frazier gloves throw to first, and Homer Bailey for the second time in his major league career. Congratulations to Homer Bailey and the Cincinnati Reds. I'm going to have a pitcher named Homer with back-to-back -back seasons of a no-hitter. Getting it done at home. Yes, he is a homer. Yes, he is. He's very good at home. Kayas, Wyatt, and Ibar. That's 7, 8, 9 for the Angels here at the bottom of the sixth inning. 5-1 Angels. Lance Lynn has thrown the ball much better over the last three innings. Kayas with a little tapper toward the mound. Lynn looked like he slipped a little bit. Kayas was thrown out. Yeah, he's looking at the turf. Last little movement when he went to field the baseball. First down is in the books here to start the sixth inning. Up steps Ionetta, who's over two tonight. Gonna pop up in foul territory to the first baseman Adams and a strikeout in the fourth. 94 pitches for Lynn. There's action going in the Cardinals bullpen now. Show the lefty, Blazik the righty. Out back. Well, that got Yanni pretty good. Molina has played a lot of games for this Cardinal club, too, dealing with a lot of heat there in St. Louis over the years. That one got him square right on the mask. Mm -hmm. Got the hockey mask working. Five-time gold glover, two-time platinum glove winner. Best defensive player at any position. I would not have a problem saying that's definitely the right call. I think he wins at dinner when he drops the platinum. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I never knew there was such a thing. Yeah, neither did I. But, hey, as good as he is, he deserves it. It's like a speakeasy. You just, we don't, we don't talk about that. We don't know what you're talking about. He doesn't move at all behind no. the plate. He's so quiet. Yeah. So as a hitter, a lot of times when a catcher makes a lot of moving, you know, at least no location of the pitch. I mean, he has 47 career pickoffs. That's how strong his arm is. 
So even if you're trying to get a secondary lead at first base, better not get too far off that bag. Hineta pulls one down the line, foul. Two balls, two strikes. Two two on the way. Out back. On that fastball. A couple good swings in this sequence for Ionetta against Lynn. When you see a batter hit and foul straight back some fastballs against you, you gotta believe Lynn's thinking in terms, I better try a slider here now. Ibar is on deck. One out here in the sixth. That spinning slider once again. Full count now. We had quite a few of those early on. Six of them in the game for Lynn, especially early on. Three two pitch. Ineta strikes out swinging. Two outs. A hey, swing for the fences for the new home run derby mobile game from MLB.com. Available on iPhone and iPad. You can download it for free today. Most pitches Lynn has thrown in a game this year, 124. That was back on May 13th against the Mets. And he settles in just over 100 for the most part. Ibar dropping a bunt foul on the third base side. He's a strong pitcher, though, so you would think in terms of he'd be able to go 115 to 125 pitches in a game. National League style of play, though, with the double switches and changes quickly. Well, you see not as many decisions for National League pitchers as compared to American League pitchers. Oh, it two. Eric had an RBI single in the second, lined out softly in the fourth inning to Matt Carpenter. Cardinals in the seventh will have eight, nine, and one coming up to Scalso. Cosma and Carpenter. Jared Weaver will be coming back out. One ball, two strikes. Nine hits for the Angels tonight. Six of which occurred in the second inning. And they scored five runs. All nine hits tonight, all singles. Two and two. Shelby Miller will go for the cards tomorrow. Jerome Williams going for the Angels. And it's Adam Wainwright, Joe Blen on 4th of July. Oh, a real Fireworks tough, galore. Real tough pitchers. This one pulled foul. Wainwright has signed an extension to remain a Cardinal for a number of years. See the, the mentor of this young staff right now. Full count. J.B. Shuck on deck. Could be the last batter here for Lynn if he walks. High bar gives up a base hit. Payoff pitch. High bar drives one out toward left center field. It's playable though for John Jay. Moves over. One, two, three inning for Lynn. Second time tonight that he has done that. Six in the books here at the Big A 5 1 Angels.
Football is brought to you by AT&T, Rethink Possible, and by El Pollo Loco, Crazy You Can Taste. Top of the seventh here at the Big A. The Angels on top of the score of 5-1. to one. Jared Weaver back to work. 97 pitches thrown by the right-hander. Five punch outs, no walks. Six hits. Gave up a run in the fourth inning. On the RBI ground out by David Freeze. He'll face the Scalso, Cosmo, Carpenter. 8-9-1 for the Cards here in the seventh inning. Daniel Descalso, the third baseman, 0-2. for two. He's Popped to third. And he Rolled into a fielder's choice that ended the fourth inning. Boy, and Weaver would love to have a nice, quick, clean inning here in the seventh. Pitch count getting up there. Next pitch will be pitch number 100. Weaver last game had 102 pitches thrown. Off speed, foul back, one and two. Sixty five strikes of the hundred pitches thrown for Weaver tonight. Fouled off to the left, one and two still. Here's the one two. This one's out toward left center field. Not hit very deep. Ibar's going out. He's got the call and the catch one away. Nice job. Right away threw up the glove to be able to make that play for Eric Ibar. Famed car customizer Ryan Friedlinghouse and his crew at West Coast Customs continue to take common vehicles from ordinary to extraordinary in West Coast Customs. Each episode brings viewers inside one of the most dynamic car shops in the world. Don't miss a new episode this Sunday. I'm looking forward to that. This one out to the alley at right center field. Hamilton giving chase, and he tracks it down for out number two. Great read, and that's not an easy play because that baseball is right in that bank of lights for a right fielder trying to track that baseball right away off the bat. It's not an easy thing. There's great wheels and coverage that Hamilton has in right field able to track down that second out. Two outs, nobody on for Matt Carpenter, the second baseman. Carpenter, one for three. Had a double back into third. Action continuing in the Cardinals' bullpen, so... Lance Lynn's night may be done as this one's in the air to center. Not very deep. Trout comes in. And Jared Weaver, perhaps in his last inning for the first time tonight, has a 1-2-3 frame. Seventh inning stretch time. The Angels still on top.
TV. Check availability at 1-800-PICK-ATT. Rethink possible. By CarMax. Start the search for your next car at CarMax. CarMax, start here. And by your Southern California Toyota dealers. Bottom of the seventh here at the Big A. The Angels up by the score of 5-1. to one. Lance Lynn done after 109 pitches, six innings, nine hits. Five runs all earned, and they all occurred in that second inning. Eight strikeouts and one walk. Just uh, one of those innings that just kind of continued to roll against Lynn and uh, just couldn't control it, and the Angels ended up scoring five times. They're in and out. Who's in? Who is out? Lynn is done, and Michael Blazik takes over on the mound to face the top of the order for the Angels here in the seventh. He's got an inning at third so far with two punch outs in two games. Fastball come in. Very good so far in his big league career. Runs it up there in the low 90s. Curveball slider changeup. Las Vegas native. 35th round pick in 2007. First taste of big league life this year. Most of the season last year at double A. Here's J.B. Shot. First pitch swinging. Skies went out to center. John Jay is there. So it moves over to his right. One out. Shuck two for four tonight with that fly out. A couple of singles and an RBI. And Mike Trout will step in. Hit this tonight. Got a Jepson getting ready. Two, three, and four do up for the Cardinals in the eighth. Jared Weaver, seven solid innings tonight. Five strikeouts, no walks. I mean, the important thing, just a couple of games ago, We'll talk about how many pitches that Weaver had thrown in his 90 plus against the Pirates. Only 15 were 88 or above. Today, 31 fastballs were 88 and above. Three in the 90s. So we talked about that going to come around for him at some point. And he certainly did that tonight. Smile on his face, very happy with his fastball. All his pitches are much better when he's has command of his fastball and velocity behind it. Two balls and a strike on Trout. 0 for 3 to pick up an RBI in the second. Bouncer to short. Cosmo to the backhand has it. Two outs. They really haven't seen... Uh, Many ground balls tonight. As a matter of fact, one, two on a double play, four is what I count. Everything else either a strikeout or in the air. And some of those ground balls found holes yeah. for the Angels, and especially in that second inning against Lynn. Albert swings through the high fastball. Oh, with one count. He's open two with a couple of punch outs and a walk. Blazik's got a pretty good fastball. Yeah. He's got a nasty curveball, too, in his slider. Yeah, he's living up to the name. 0-2 <laughs> count. Yeah, just rushed back up there with a 97-mile-an-hour fastball. Back-to-back, -back, he's throwing three 97-mile-an-hour fastballs. Hit the air, shallow right field toward the foul line. Adams, Carpenter, and Beltron, and Adams, the first baseman, can't come up with it. Boy, Adams going back, trying to look for some help. Will we make the play on that pop up from Pujols? Is that an opportunity to swing once again? Albert just got a piece of the breaking ball. Well, this bullpen has done a nice job for the Cardinals because sooner Jason Mott has been out the entire season. Their closer. Mohik has done a nice job stepping in for Mott. Another power arm down there. Rosenthal throws the ball extremely hard. So they have a number of big time arms. Broken bat bouncer over to third. Descalso across the diamond. And Blazik has himself a one, two, three, seven. We will head to the eighth with the Angels on top, five to one.
Halos. Trumbo gets jammed, but strong enough to get a base hit in the outfield, scores Hamilton. And Kayaspo, a ground ball between short and third, drives in Howie Kendricker. Ibar continues to swing the bat well, scores Trumbo, part of a five-run second inning, and Jerry Weaver has made that hold up. A good fastball command throughout, five punch-outs in the game for Weaver. Seven very solid innings for him. Jared Weaver done after seven innings, six hits, five strikeouts, no walks, one run. It was earned. 105 pitches for him. Mike Sosha has gone to the bullpen as we heads down to the clubhouse. Kevin Jepson takes over on the mound. And here in the eighth inning, he'll face Molina, Beltron, and Craig. Good sign to see Weaver go back to back, seven inning performances. Yep. The Angels do have a new outfielder, it's a left fielder. Colin Calgill, who was called up before the game today as Peter Borges was placed on the 15-day disabled list. Calgill takes over and left for J.B. Shuck. Certainly a guy with a lot of coverage in that left field position. Very aggressive outfielder. Alina Tardy on the fastball. Fouls it off to the right. It's an 0-1 count. There's Peter placed on the 15-day uh, disabled list. Non-displaced fracture of that right wrist area. They're estimating two to three weeks. Yeah, talking to him just the other day in Houston with three off days, and then you have the four off days with the All-Star break. Won't miss as many games trying to come back from that fractured wrist. 0-2, Gallo Molina, who's one for three tonight, had a base hit in the fifth. Jepson pitched on Sunday, went went leaning in that one. One hit, one strikeout, one walk for him. Able to count now two of balls and two strikes. Well, it's not the time to see that Kevin tries to be too perfect with whether it's his cut fastball or slider. Got ahead of the count, 0 2. Don't overthrow. This is line to center a base hit. Leadoff man is on board for the St. Louis Cardinals for the first time tonight. And that'll bring up Carlos Beltran. We'll go back and revisit our AT&T Twitter poll question of the series. Your favorite World Series game six home run. Scott Spezio's 2002 currently leading the pack at 47% of the vote. Not surprising. Huge. If it's Angel centric run. anyway. Yes, indeed. Gonna come Beltran. back that yeah. game. No one count on Beltran. We're well, getting back to that base hit from Molina. Now Molina's looking fastball at that point because the cut fastball and slider well off the plate, and there's a reason why he was coming in this game at 345. So he's recognized looking for a fastball at that point and served that ball into center field. Oh and two. Back to back hitters. He's gotten ahead at 0-2. Beltran with a fly to right. Ground ball to first and a strikeout. Molina over at first with nobody out here in the eighth. Like Scott Down starting to play some catch. Dane De La Rosa as well for the Angels. Chopper off the plate. Gonna be a tough play. Kendrick doesn't have one. Infield base hit. So the first two have reached for the Cardinals here in the eighth. That's one of those spots, too, as an infielder, you're really at, at no chance at this point. All you can hope for is Molina rounds second base and goes beyond it. Molina stays right there, knowing there's no play at first base.
Downs on the left, De La Rosa on the right. They were just talking about Jepson, and uh, you know, they can't throw the breaking pitch for a strike. To be able to show hitters another pitch off the fastball just makes it that much more difficult, regardless of how hard you're throwing. And even if you locate it perfectly like he can do at times with his fastball 96 97 they're just gearing for the hard stuff. Two on nobody out Alan Craig the batter left fielder tonight one for three singleton scored in the fourth Very difficult hitter but a guy that will hit into a double play he's hit into nine this Cardinal club itself leads the National League as far as grounding into double plays. One ball, one strike. Good dig out of the dirt, too, by Ionetto. Not a whole lot of speed on the bases with Molina at second and Beltron at first base. The two hits in this inning now has given the Cardinals eight on the night. One one. In the air, foul, and out of play on the first base side. One, two on the way. Lays off. Two balls, two strikes. That right, cut fastball almost got Craig to swing at. Now Craig is going to be looking fastball. Hopefully, Kevin Jeps can get a ground ball at an infielder here to be able to turn two with that fastball. Got to reach for that one. Cal remains still at two balls, two strikes. You know the pattern that Kevin kind of falls into at times. Everything is away, away, away on right handed batters. And if you've got that movement with that cut fastball, why not try the front door fastball on a right handed batter? It would definitely freeze them. At least give you something else to think about. Because yeah, they can just look away, away, away. There's no concern of a fastball in at you. Foul back. Still two balls, two strikes. And what I mean by that, if, if a, a hitter's comfortable enough to look away against you, even if you're throwing as hard as Jepson is throwing, well, then he doesn't have that fear of a fastball inside, so he can dive out over the plate. That's pulled in the left field. The base is three straight hits. Calgo gets the baseball back in. And again with another fastball right over the heart of the plate. The bases are loaded with nobody out here in the eighth inning. Jepson has not retired to batter. And Mike Sosha has seen enough. But Matt Adams coming up. Left hand hitting first baseman. It'll be Scott Downs coming into the ball game. As the Angels maintain a 5-1 lead. But Cardinals threatening here in the eighth.
Gibson, who did not retire a man, faced three batters, and they are on base. So Scott Downs will have to deal with that. I want to remind you that one of the most affordable ways to see the Halos is with the Family Fun Pack. This pack includes four tickets, four hot dogs, and four sodas for only forty-four dollars. Forty-four bucks. Fun packs are available every game while supplies last. Purchase your tickets. Visit the Angel Stadium ticket office or log on at angels.com/funpack. That's a Scott Downs on in relief. Matt Adams is going to be the batter, the left-hand hitting first baseman. 35th game for Scott, one and two, marking a 1.61 ERA. And one thing about Scott Downs, he does get a lot of ground balls, and that's the, what his goal is right now, to get a ground ball. Hopefully he can get two outs with it, prevent the Cardinals from having a big inning here. Molina at third base, Beltron at second, Craig at first. Infield back at double play depth. All three of these guys belong to Jepson. One and oh. Adams one for three tonight at a double back in the fourth inning. Downs last pitched Thursday against the Tigers, went one third of an inning in that one. Also pitched in the previous game on Wednesday, going an inning in a third. One ball, one strike. At home, you're, you're thinking like Matheny leaves Adams in against the left handed pitcher, but hitting 385 against lefties. One one down and in two balls and one strike. Adams has a little Jason Giambi look to him at the plate. A big, strong left handed hitter. It doesn't seem to bail out against left handed pitching. No place to put him with nobody out here in the eighth. 2 1. Swing and a miss underneath the hands again. 2 and 2. De La Rosa is ready to go in the bullpen. Right-handed batter David Freeze on deck, and a lefty and John Jay. The two-two swing and a miss. Down goes Adam. Locked him up with that fastball in one out. Well, what a job in that sequence by Scott Downs. Against Matt Adams, stayed underneath the hands all the way through the entire at bat. With the bases loaded, a gutsy pitch to go inside because if you hit him, it forces in a run. He's very confident going inside against Adams. He gets a swing and miss, a big out. Here's David Freeze, DH tonight, two for three, single, a double, and an RBI ground out. One ball, no strikes. Cardinals with a run on nine hits, one error. They've left six on base. The Angels five runs, nine hits, one error. And the Angels have stranded four base runners. Lance Lynn gave up five runs at six innings on nine hits. Jared Weaver, one run in seven innings of work. Kevin Jepson faced three batters, and this is the second batter for Downs. It's free. He swings through that one to even the count. Two thirty-eight batting average this season against left-handed pitching.
Two and one. Boy, Freeds is well off the plate. So that means he's diving into the plate, looking for something on the inner half. He does have tremendous power to center field, the right center field also. But well off the plate and then dives to be able to have plate coverage. Hamilton not playing very deep in right field. Trout straight up at center. Calgill the same in left. Infield looking for that double play ball. Freeze is hit into nine of them this year. Two on pitch. Swing and a miss. Downs finally likes the sign that he got from Ionetta. Now the 2 2. Bouncer. And a glove save and a beauty by Trumbo. Fires the second for one. Reeling the first in time. Wow, what a double play started by Mark Trumbo. Spectacular, potentially game saving play by Trumbo. The most difficult double play to turn. Three, six, one, double play. Outstanding by Trumbo. play by Mark Trumbo to start the inning ending double play an exceptional play that is an absolute rocket from freeze dives perfect throw to Ibar and Scott Downs covers the base he did it absolutely perfectly you get to the base and then you stretch out so often you see a pitcher run to the base and then it cannot get the footwork down as he's stretching out Scott Downs got there quickly to the base and reacts unbelievable three six one double play to get through the inning no runs allowed by the halos Kevin Jefferson oh Scott Downs a, a nice dinner out on the road when we head to Chicago first three batters reaching in the inning Downs got strike out of Adams and then that double play ball textbook all the way around Kevin Jefferson going thank you Scott I appreciate that uh, Gibson's Steakhouse in <laughs> yes. Chicago yes. Monday night when it's, we arrive yeah it's on me <laughs> It'll be Hamilton, Kendrick, and Trumbo here to face Edward Mojica. First one is outside. Mojica taking over for Blazik. Yeah, we talked about it in the pregame hit. They'd be able to talk about why this team has played so well in a past road trip. But yeah, the offense and the pitching, but the defense during that course of that six-game stretch on the road, some outstanding game-saving plays. Well, that one there by Mark Trumbo certainly ranks up with the plays we saw on that road trip. Josh Hamilton made a, a number of them. So it's not always just with the pitcher and the hitters. It's the glove. The glove has turned around for the Angels here during this solid stretch. 
Hamilton bounces that one foul. It's a one two count on Josh one for three tonight had a single with a run scored in the second and struck out hit a fly ball to left in his other two plate appearances Blazek by the way pitched the seventh and had a one two three inning with a fly ball out two ground outs bouncer over to first Adams is there takes it himself one out eight in a row retired by Cardinals pitching since a single by Kendrick in the fifth Take a look at the subway in game box score two hits for Jamie Shuck no longer in the game Howie Kendrick's had a three hit game when they mix the match go to score five runs in a second with six base hits all singles throughout this entire game for the Halos but it still counts you could bunch them together against a very good pitcher in Lance Lynn to start with. Howie lays off, and it's a strike. Doesn't like the call by Todd Titchener, the home plate umpire. Three for three tonight. The 11th time this year he's had a three hit game. Mojica is pitching in his 33rd game this year. That's how he fouls it off. 21 saves on the year. 28 punch outs, two walks in 32 and two third innings. That's amazing control. Ball and two strikes. Trumbo's on deck. Swing and a miss. Two down. He's got a nasty splitter. And that's where he throws a lot of majority of his pitches are split finger fastballs. He's got a good fastball, 90 to 94, not overpowering, but his nasty split is his out pitch. Mojica's been around. Came up with Cleveland, pitched with the Padres, the Marlins. The Cardinals acquired him in a trade. Back in 2011. Two outs, nobody on for Mark Trumbo. One for three game for him. That one's just a, a bit outside. One ball, no strikes. Stick around after the game. Michael Leaves and Jose Moto will break it all down with Angels Live post game presented by your SoCal Mazda dealers. One ball, one strike. Well, that was a great reaction when Mark Trombo got back into the dugout by his teammates, mm -hmm. high five, and realizing the significance of that play he made to finish off the top of the eighth. One two to Mark, and he chases that pitch. And Bohika has himself a one two three eighth. We will head to the ninth, bottom third of the order, coming up for the Cardinals with the Angels on top.
event of the summer. The Midsummer Classic returns to New York with home field advantage for the World Series on the line. It's the 2013 Major League Baseball All-Star Game live from New York, July 16th, only on Fox. Here it's 5-1 to one Angels as we start the ninth inning. Dane De Rosa who's come on in relief of Scott Downs. He went one inning at a strike count and a huge double play ball to get out of that bases loaded no out situation that the Angels were in in the eighth inning. 36th game for Dane. Three and one mark at 316 ERA. He last pitched on Saturday, went one inning, had a couple of punch outs against the Strokes. Well, he's had a real good fastball play too, 93 to 96. Great changeup, curveball slider. He'll face seven, eight, nine here in the ninth inning for the Cardinals. Jay Descalso and Cosmo, barring any pinch hitters by Mike Matheny. John Jay 0 for two today was hit by a pitch in the fourth. Kayaspo in over at third base. One and one. Bouncer towards second. How he's going to have to hurry. Backhands it, gets rid of it quickly. One out. Good job of getting your body under control from Howie Kendrick and a tough little slow roller. Use the backhand, maintain balance. Perfect throw. Get the first out here of the ninth. Daniel Descalso, the third baseman, is 0 for 3. Looks at a strike. This one in the air to left. Calgill is there. Two outs. So the Halos one out away from making it seven in a row, taking the first one against the St. Louis Cardinals tonight. Like the Phoenix Club plays excellent baseball on the road, so it's certainly a, a big opportunity to be able to pull off this first victory at home for the Angels against the Cardinals. And in this game, the Cardinals 27 and 16 on the road. Check swing foul. Oh, what count? Cosmo, the shortstop, 0 for 3 tonight. De La Rosa trying to close it out for Jared Weaver. Breaking pitch that is in there. That was a buckler. Jared would be picking up his second win of the season. See the curveball on Delarosa. More importantly, it'd be his 104th career victory. That would match his brother's career win total. Swing and a miss. Like that baby up as the Angels take game one against the Cardinals by the final of five to one. Well, old fashioned Angel baseball to win this one. Great defense. Solid, solid pitching and timely hitting aggressive base running. Produces five runs in the second but it's the defense that saved the game. Mark Trumbo's play outstanding 3-6-1 double play. Great job by Scott Downs coming out of the bullpen. And preventing any damage with coming in with bases loaded, no outs. Jared Weaver is back. Back to back seven innings pitch. Today, seven innings, just one earned run allowed, five punch outs, no walks, 31 pitches, 
88 or above as far as mile per hour in his 105 pitches. That fastball's coming back for Weaver. Scott Downs did a terrific job in that eighth inning. Mark Trumbull, a fantastic defensive play, perhaps a game saver for the Angels to start that double play. And then Dane De La Rosa with a one, two, three exclamation point strike out to finish this one off. The Angels got five in the second and they made it stand up. Howie Kendrick, yet another three hits for him. He continues to flat out rake. He's down on the field right now with our own Jamie Maggio. Victor, thank you. That's right. Three hits for Howie Kendrick tonight. You hit 356 in the month of June, and really that hot streak started in mid-May for you, Howie. Do you find that pitchers are trying to look for different ways to get you out now? Uh, I don't really think about what they're trying to do. I just try to go out and play, play the game and, you know, see what happens that day. You know, if they make a mistake and I get a hit off of it, you know, I'm really happy. But... I think the biggest thing is just uh, trying to be on base and try to score runs and uh, to try to get wins. Seven straight wins for the Angels. Is the team playing as well right now as they were during that eight-game win streak at the end of May? You know what? Uh, we've been playing good baseball. The pitching's been really good. You know, we've been getting a lot of guys out, getting out of some jams, and, you know, giving us the opportunity to win games. So, you know, we've been putting runs up, and we've been getting wins. You mentioned the pitching. Jared Weaver, two back-to-back -back strong outings for him. How much does that lend to the positive outlook of this team right now? You know, Jared's the ace of our staff. And, uh, you know, when he's going out doing stuff like that, I mean, the guy's a bulldog. And, you know, you love to see him go out and get, get guys out like that. And, you know, it makes good for everybody on the staff. The other guys try to feed off of that. And, you know, hopefully it'll continue to roll like the way we've been playing. Thank you very much, Joey. All right, thanks. All right, Angels top the Cardinals here in Anaheim. 5-1, to one, the final score. Stick around, everyone. Angels Live is coming up with Michael Eaves and Jose Moda.